What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, I'm going to talk about the game Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, which was released on the PlayStation, PC, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo 64, and Xbox by Activision. And this game is a pretty much a sequel to the first um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. And, um, and for the second this review, I'm going to talk about the um, Game Boy Color version. Uh, since the um, home console versions pretty much have some uh, modes that's not in the um, Game Boy Color version, you know what I'm saying? Now, the modes for the Game Boy Color version of um, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 are um, Career Mode, Free Skate, Credit, Photo Gallery, and Password Input. Now, of course, the Career Mode is the main mode of the game, you know what I'm saying, where you pick a skater and a... Um, and the stage to where you can pick from, you know what I'm saying. Now the um available skaters range from um uh, say like um Tony Hawk, um Jeff Raleigh, Alyssa Steamer, Andrew Reynolds, uh Jamie Thomas, pretty much different skaters like that. There's pretty much slightly over ten skaters overall. You can pick from, you know what I'm saying. Now, like after you pick um, the skater, you can um, pick, buy um, two different um, skateboards. One called the Bird uh, and the Falcon and stuff like that. Or you could just simply press continue. However, when when you initially start the game, you don't have no money. To buy the uh, two skateboards because the first one cost three thousand dollars and the second one cost four thousand dollars, so it's obvious to go to press the continue button. Then um, once you do that, um, the the skateboard that they have for you is really depending on which um, uh, skater that you um, selected. For example, um, if you pick Tony Hawk, you know. The um the skateboard that you can use is the Paradoctor, you know what I'm saying? So um each skateboard is pretty much issued to a specific skater, you know. Now um there's pretty much seven stages in the uh, career mode, stuff like that. And each of them have a specific name, um street, uh, skate street, New York City, the hangar school. Bull Ring, Venice Beach, and Skate Heaven. Now, um, the last three stages pretty much has a entrance fee, you know what I'm saying? The Bull Ring, the interest fee for that is um, $3,000. The entry fee for Venice Beach is $4,000. And um, the entry fee for the Skate Heaven is $5,000. So that means you will have to play through um, one of the four the, the first four um, stages to really gain money to pay for the entry fee for the for the latter three, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, you will, after you pick a stage, you're pretty much given like four tasks to complete, you know what I'm saying? Like for example, with the first stage you know, called Skate Street, the um, tasks are a five move uh, combo, you earn 5,000 points, Collect the letters that spell out skate and earn 10,000 points, you know what I'm saying? And um, once you like do that, you can pretty much go to the um, next um, stage and complete the four um, 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 missions that, that's, um, that's for the next stage, you know what I'm saying? And there's a certain amount of money that you can earn by completing each objective. And the amount of money, the amount of money that you earn, is dependent on the objective, objective itself, and the stage that you're on. You know what I'm saying? Plus, there's a like a um, two minute time limit. You know what I'm saying? Now, it is uh, possible to complete all four objectives in a particular stage within a uh, within a time limit, but those who like really never played it. It would take them like a few times to really like complete it. I would say at least five times for somebody who was a newbie to the uh, Tony 
Tony Hawk Pro Skater series to complete all four objectives, you know. And um, then there's um, Free Skate, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the uh, exhibition mode of the game where you pick um, one of the um, skaters and try to um, score uh, as, as many points as possible with the uh, chain of moves that you can pull off, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and in Free Skate, you could pick the um, uh, one of the skaters that you can choose from in career mode and use one of the stages from um, career mode also, you know what I'm saying? Now, the picture, um, um, the photo album, um, always pretty much shows you all of the um, pictures in, in the game, you know what I'm saying? Then there's seven pictures over, eight pictures overall. The first one is uh, locked for you, and the other seven is pretty much, um, you have to unlock it by playing the career mode. Now you can just either view the pictures or print them out, you know what I'm saying? And there's a, like a, a printer accessory for the Game Boy Code you can use it for, but I don't know anybody who will actually printing out those pictures, you know what I'm saying, from the Game Boy Color version of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, you know. And then there's the um, password input, which allows you to um, put in a 12-letter password to pick up where you left off in terms of the uh, career mode and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying. And pretty much, uh, far, as far as the credit goes, it pretty much shows you the people who worked on, on the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 for the Game Boy Cover from Activision and stuff like that, you know. Now, as far as the um, graphics and uh, design for the Game Boy Color version of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, it's pretty good, you know what I'm saying? It has some nice color palettes to it, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's not as good necessarily as, say, the uh, Nintendo 64 and PlayStation version of the game, you know. Um, the controls and gameplay are pretty good, you know what I'm saying? It can, it can, you, you can pretty much um, pull off the uh, chain of combos without a problem, you know what I'm saying, for the most part. It, it may even, if you're like, um, new to the, new to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, it might take you a minute, but you, but you pretty much get a hang of it, though, you know what I'm saying? Now the soundtrack is pretty good. It has some it has some nice um, uh, instrumentals and all that you know, and everything. But I honestly prefer the soundtrack to the um, PlayStation and Nintendo sixty four versions myself because the soundtracks the soundtrack to those two pretty much have um, songs from different recording artists. artists and stuff like that, mainly like rock and rap and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, the game, the Game Boy Color version of Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two is pretty good, um, but it's not necessarily as good as, um, say, the home console version. To me, anyway, especially the PlayStation and Nintendo 64 versions. You know what I'm saying? But is it worth like? Um, playing, you know what I'm saying, in terms of the Game Boy Color version, I would say so, yeah, you know, as far as the score, I definitely give the Game Boy Color version of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 an 8 out of 10, you know what I'm saying, um, mainly because some of the flaws are noticeable, mainly the graphics and um, design isn't it didn't age necessarily well, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, it's a good game, you know? With that being said, if you like this uh, review, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. And don't forget to sound off in the comment section about Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, you know what I'm saying? Regardless if you like the Game Boy Color version or the home console version, you know, with that being said, this is your boy Big Metroid Fan 12 signing off.